Welcome back. It is an opportunity for all of the tech lovers to come together to share new ideas, innovations, but really to have fun and to network. It is the second annual Jack's Tech Summer Social and is being put on by our next guest, uh, who is also the CEO, I should say the co-CEO of SourceFuse, which by the way, uh, is a digital product and technology development organization that helps startups and corporations launch web, mobile, and social software solutions. We'll get into that in a second. And he's going to talk about some really interesting tech coming out of Jacksonville, which includes a 3D printer in outer space that has ties to Jacksonville. We'll get into that in a second, but first talk about tonight's event, which is pretty neat. Yeah, tonight's event is uh, it's our summer social for our group we run, Jax Tech, and um, usually uh, we do informational sessions, educational presenters, but the social, which I did last year, pulled together a lot of the other groups, like Startup Jax and Tech on Tap and Big Data Jax that focus in different areas of either innovation or startup or marketing. and kind of just have a party, get everybody together and uh, that is interested in you know, learning, education, things going on in Jacksonville, um, a little networking and just have some fun. Just have um, fun in one in one location so that way people you said can network and learn and this spirals into more meetings because you have another meeting coming up in September that you say is pretty neat too. Exactly, exactly. So like for this one we like to feature local Jacksonville businesses. So we're having it at the Hotel Palms because that's a small local hotel, family owned, uh, local owned. Our, one of our sponsors is our caterer, Homespun Kitchen, which is at the beaches, a little you know, locally grown uh, restaurant. So featuring local uh, businesses is kind of a part of it. And so for our September event, we're having it at the Mosh, the Museum of Science and History, and we're featuring some, uh, some neat uh, developments going on in Jacksonville that people don't know about. So some cool technology coming out of here in a venue that's got a, a whole tech focus itself. So on September 21st, we have um, a speaker from who works at Johnson & Johnson uh, right now, Randy Pugh, and he works in their smart devices and innovation lab. So his group has over 200 patents. They're working on next generation stuff like smart contact lenses, bio-embedded devices, things that, that are really future tech. So they're not even going to be possible for 10 years, but they're working on them now. So he's going to highlight some of what they're doing for the future and how they're going about it. And then also for Everbank, uh, they're one of their directors in IT who is working on machine learning and artificial intelligence and how that can apply for customer interactions in the banking industry. So really neat future stuff that is going on right here in Jacksonville that people are working on at large companies that you know, not a lot of people know about. Not people know about. This will shine a spotlight on it. So I'm going to do a little rapid fire with you because there are some neat technologies coming out of Jacksonville. Like I mentioned, that 3D printer that's in space that has ties to Jacksonville. We'll get to that. But first of all, your company, SourceFuse, you guys are doing something really innovative when it comes to healthcare. Yeah, so healthcare tech, we do have a couple of things going on. One is uh, healthcare ride transportation management, claims management. We're working with a local company, One Call Care Management and building a, a better way to get patients to appointments and manage other uh, aspects of, of the healthcare spectrum through technology, through, through real-time communications, mobile app that ties together multiple services and how people manage appointments and transportation and other aspects of, uh, of claims management. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's uh, for that local group here. Which this could apply really across the country, this kind of technology. It is right now. We're doing thousands of rides regularly on a, a daily basis of uh, 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 getting patients to appointments and then incorporating other healthcare services all in a unified app. You're like the, really cool. the Uber of healthcare. Exactly. Okay, yeah, another one. Are, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. other one you say is NLP Logics. What's this? Yeah, those guys are great. Another local Local, kind of relatively small uh, but growing uh, company focused on uh, machine learning, big data management, um, and AI. And they've just launched a partnership with Mayo Clinic also here for taking all this years of patient data they have and applying you know, smart machine learning to it to see how they can improve patient care. I think they're starting with uh, stroke detection algorithms, but it's you know, much bigger than that. And it's really innovative you know, healthcare big data discovery that's going on right here in Jacksonville. So also, let's great. get to this 3D printer thing. What's going on uh, so with Made in Space? Yeah, so Made in Space, uh, they have a, a, a location here in Jacksonville, another uh, out, out west. Um, and they're doing some very cool things, like one of them is how to get self-assembling materials in space, uh, so structures, and bring 3D printers to space to how, you know, kind of make that work so they can, you know, print their own tools and things they need for maintaining a space station. It's just progressing things about space exploration, and it's actually got a presence here in Jacksonville, too, which is really neat. A 3D printer in space. Okay, another one very quick is Apelix. Yes, yeah, um, and they're working on kind of uh, aerial robotics, it's drone work, but uh, there, there are other terms for it. But they're putting drones to work for commercial purposes, uh, painting, cleaning, buildings, high elevation things, a very, very kind of uh, specific 
drone work and commercial uh, application, and that's going on right here too. Like, like spray painting with a drone, as exactly. you can see. It's just amazing exactly. stuff. And this is just a small slice of what is going on locally. But tonight is the event. Meetup.com is also how people can find the information. Yeah, Sourcefuse.com, your website, exactly. is that a good place to go? It is, yeah. Just search for Jack's Tech and we'll come up there. It's, uh, it's on meetup.com as well. The name of the group is Jack's Tech. Um, but uh, that's it's, the best it's fascinating. Place to see and even details. people like me there, who are very ignorant about technology can go, right? I don't have to like. Absolutely. This okay, is a great good. place to learn and, <laughs> okay. and meet other people in it and, uh, and have fun. Good deal. Yeah. Good to see you, Kelly. Thank you so much. And again, the second annual Jack's Tech Summer Social is tonight starting at 5 30. It will be at Hotel Palms, which is 28 Sherry Drive in Atlantic Beach. Not the information, but that's okay. You got it. Go to <laughs> meetup.com or sourceviews.com.